a neighborhood located in one of the more dangerous parts of Monroe, a building sits next to a vacant lot. Rarely open by day, Harvey's Dance Hall is considered one of the few wholesome places to go to at night, not just to dance, but to learn how to dance as well. Shane Washington, the salsa instructor, gives several reasons for the dance hall's success. It's clean, it's nice, it's not smoky, it's a family place. I mean, you can put your kids down with a puzzle or a toy and nobody's going to hurt them. You can leave your purse laying on a table and nobody's going to rob you. Mary Kate Toller, the substitute dance instructor, the back of sees you. other benefits okay. to Harvey's. And the fun part is the exercise and burning calories and meeting new people. Karen Hayward says that the dance hall is part of a larger organization known as the Singular Connection. The, yeah, the Singular Connection is the, the name of the group and the, the, the Singular Connection had been around for several years before we got the dance hall. And now this is sort of our meeting place. The Singular Connection, a Christian dating organization, wanted its members to have a safe place with a few rules that bars lack. And that's just how Reverend Randy Cook likes to... Well, I think this is superior. You know, uh, this is, uh, you know, there's no drinking, no smoking. Uh, you know, it's just good, pe good people. According to Harvey, Although the dance hall isn't located in one of the most desirable of neighborhoods in Monroe, safety hasn't been a problem. We have had one occasion where we've had to call the police. Someone was drunk outside and harassing people. But uh, out of six years, one instance is, is not that bad. If you're looking for a family-friendly alternative to Monroe's nighttime bar scene, Harvey's is waiting for you. This is Michael Reso reporting independently.